Hello everyone. Today we'll be making a very interesting uh, do it yourself at home video. This is a small video where we'll make toothpaste powered boats. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? How many of us know that a toothpaste is a very good reacting agent and can be actually used to uh, power small boats made from small material. Let's let's try it out. It sounds a uh, bit confusing. So what we have done is we have taken this uh, uh, small cardboard kind of paper. It's a very thin kind of paper, uh, but sturdy. Uh, this is basically used for making invitation cards and uh, things. We need a scissors, a pen, and toothpaste to uh, make these. Very simple. We'll take the paper first and we'll draw small boats. Uh, very very small boats on the paper so that we can cut it easily so I have drawn these four small boats on the paper uh, please note that I have made this particular shape so that the tip of the boat is so that it can cut the water easily so that there is minimum uh, friction now what we need to do is we need to cut these four shapes I'll just cut it out so you see I have cut out these four small boats out of the paper now we need to make the propelling mechanism so what I am going to use is a small punching machine and I will take one of these boats and I will put a small punch at the bottom like this same thing I will do with the other boats as well a small punch at the bottom like this so you can see I have made holes at the bottom of all the four boats now this hole is where the toothpaste as a propellant is going to go. We need to make the port also so that these uh, the propellant can come out of the main storing area. So what we will do is we will make a small cut here and a small cut here. So you see it will look like this. Basically it will be a small uh, passage from which the toothpaste can come out. Same thing I will do with the, all the other boats. I will make a small passage here and here. You can see it very clearly. I will make it with the other two boats as well. So I have got these uh, boats ready with the holes at the bottom. Now I have got four boats. So just to show you the difference, how different it is, what I am going to do is I am going to place two boats without the toothpaste and two boats with the toothpaste. So here is uh, one boat without the toothpaste. I will just put it in the water and you can see it is just floating around. Here is the second boat, I will put it in the water and you will see it is also just floating around. Now on the third boat, I will apply a little bit of toothpaste. So here is my third boat and what I will do is I will take a little bit of toothpaste on my finger and I will apply it here. So I have applied toothpaste on the bottom of this boat and I am going to put it in the water. So you can see it's already running around. Compare it with the other boats. This boat will keep moving because of the toothpaste propellant action. I am going to put the other boat also and we will see two boats will keep moving and one uh, the two of boats where the toothpaste is not there will keep standing just to give the direction to this boat you can see the two boats where the toothpaste is there are moving pretty nicely and the two boats where the toothpaste is not there are just standing still. This is how the difference is between a toothpaste powered boat and a boat which is not powered by anything. You can try this at home. This is a very interesting way of making kids have fun with toothpaste. Uh, enjoy.